Have you ever watched a movie on your phone and noticed black bars on the top and bottom? Or maybe you've played a game on your monitor and thought, why does this look wider than usual? Well, there's a simple explanation for all of that. Aspect ratios. These numbers might seem small, but they define how we see everything on our screens. Today, we're breaking down what aspect ratios are, why so many exist, and which ones matter the most, depending on what you're watching, creating, or playing. Let's get into it right here on History of Simple Things. Before we go through the different types, let's clear up the basics. An aspect ratio is simply the proportion between the width and height of a screen or image. You'll usually hear it said like this, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, or 21 by 9. The first number represents the width, and the second represents the height. So a 16 by 9 screen is wider, while a 9 by 16 screen is tall. Aspect ratio affects everything, what fits in the frame, how videos appear on your device, and even the feeling a shot gives you. Let's start with the iconic 4x3, also known simply as 4-3. If you're old enough to remember early TVs, school projectors, or vintage video cameras, this was the default. It was the standard for decades. Why was it so common? Because early broadcasts and analog systems were designed for a more square frame. It worked well with the technology of the time and matched how most films were adapted for television. Today you'll still see 4x3 used in old TV shows and movies, retro games and emulators, certain security cameras, artistic content that wants a nostalgic or intimate feel. 4x3 gives you a closer, more focused frame. It's great for storytelling that wants to keep attention centered. Even some modern creators use it intentionally because of how retro or personal it feels. Next, we have the king of modern displays, 16x9. If you're watching this video right now, chances are your device is 16x9. TVs, monitors, laptops, consoles, nearly everything uses this ratio. But why? Because it strikes the perfect balance between width and height. It's wide enough for films, tall enough for everyday use, and works perfectly for HD resolutions like 1920 by 1080 and 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. 16 by 9 dominates in YouTube, Blu-ray movies, TV shows, game consoles, most computer monitors. If you're a content creator, this is the safest ratio to use. It looks good on nearly everything. But of course, the internet has changed a lot, and newer platforms have pushed creators toward different shapes. Let's flip 16 by 9 around, and you get 9 by 16, the vertical format. This is the king of mobile content. Your phone is the reason this ratio exploded. People don't rotate their screens unless they have to, so platforms adapted. You'll see 9 by 16 on TikTok, Instagram, Reels, Facebook Shorts, YouTube Shorts, Snapchat. Vertical video feels personal and immediate. It fills the entire phone screen, making the experience immersive, even with such a narrow width. If you're creating content for mobile-first audiences, this ratio is essential. It's clean, familiar, and fits the natural scrolling habits of viewers. Now let's go into cinematic territory. The ultra-wide 21 by 9, sometimes called 2.35 to 1 or 2.39 to 1 in film terms. Think of big Hollywood films. When you see those long black bars on your TV, that's because the movie was originally shot in an ultra-wide aspect ratio. 21 by 9 is popular because it creates a dramatic, immersive frame, mimics human peripheral vision more naturally, gives a grand, big screen feeling. In the tech world, 21 by 9 monitors are popular among video editors, gamers, 
multitaskers, productivity-focused users. The extra width allows for a beautiful spread of workspace or a wider field of view in games. It's not a mainstream consumer ratio for TV content, but in filmmaking and high-end setups, it's very desirable. Imagine a screen as wide as two monitors side by side, but without the border in the middle. That's 32 by 9, sometimes called super ultra wide. These screens are massive and usually curved, giving you a panoramic workspace. They're not meant for movies. Instead, they're designed for stock traders, programmers, video editors, gamers with wide field of view setups, people who want multitasking without multiple monitors. 32 by 9 is amazing if you want everything on one screen, multiple apps, timelines, or game interfaces. But it can be overwhelming for everyday use, and not all games or apps support it perfectly. There are also some aspect ratios that survived because of tradition or specialized use cases. 3 by 2, photography and some laptops. This is the native ratio for DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Many document-focused laptops also use 3 by 2 because it shows more vertical content, making reading and writing easier. 5 by 4, old monitors. Before modern widescreens, office monitors were often 5 by 4. You rarely see it now except in older workstations or industrial equipment. 18 by 9, or 2 to 1, modern smartphones. Many modern phones use this slightly taller ratio to make devices easier to hold while keeping screens wide enough for content. Aspect ratios didn't evolve randomly. They came from technology, culture, and how we consume media. Here's why there are so many. First, Different devices want different experiences. A phone needs to work well vertically. A TV needs to suit everyday watching. A movie theater needs something immersive. Second, content creators have different goals. A filmmaker wants cinematic drama. A YouTuber wants compatibility. A TikTok creator wants full-screen engagement. Aspect ratios might seem like small technical details, but they shape how we see stories, games, movies, and everyday content. They guide our eyes, influence our emotions, and even change how we use our devices. So next time you watch something and notice the shape of the frame, now you know exactly why it looks that way. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.